This cartoon shows the transapical approach for transcatheterotic valve implantation. This is the position of the mini thoracotomy incision, positioned right over the left ventricular apex. And this is the stenosed aortic valve that is to be treated. The surgeon may prepare the transapical site with pledgets ready for closure after the procedure. A sheath is introduced through the left ventricular apex and a wire is used to cross the aortic valve. The main delivery sheath is then introduced. A balloon is used to dilate the stenosed valve to make it easier for the new valve to be introduced. The balloon inflation occurs during rapid pacing to reduce movement. The new valve is introduced, crimped over the deployment balloon, and again during, during rapid pacing, the balloon is inflated, expanding the new valve into position. Once the deployment balloon is deflated, the new leaflets start to function normally within the expanded stent frame. All the equipment is withdrawn and the apical puncture site closed. And the valve is assessed to make sure it is working well with no blockage to the coronary arteries, no leak causing aortic regurgitation around the valve ring and no injury to nearby structures.